Okay, so this is video 10 of Div 4. Um, we got the Ledger engine working. This time we're going to polish up Project 1. Uh, go into Form Details. Uh, right here. View Code. Um, Control F. Current Document. Return. Enter. Oh, we don't want it there. Uh, return. 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 Oh, here we go. Yeah. So right here in this return, we're going to close CN, XN. Let's try to find another one. Same thing on that. That's it. Yep, that's it. Okay. Uh, then um, take out any default text on that uh, I guess details form, right? So don't want that. Don't want this. This would give you an error because it's a string, not a integer. I guess can't convert to an integer. I guess. Um, that's what would give us that error if we you know, went to new order and then details form. Um, change the tabs so they work on the forms correctly. Um, you can go into start it with form with authenticate user. First go on the login and go up to accept button. Whoops, nope. Click on the background form go up to accept button and choose BTN login now when you press enter this will be the button to click or it will be the button to uh, you know, be it'll do the click event for this uh, for this button um, let's go ahead and set up tabs uh, so this one could be zero this one could be one this one could be, uh, can you have it be nothing? No. I uh, wonder if negative one is okay. Nope. Um, maybe just 999, I don't know. See what happens with that. I don't want that either. Let's just see what it looks like. Okay, well that's fine. Looks good. We actually set this one as, uh, I guess, two or three or uh, tab as two maybe. Zero, one, two. I guess the labels don't matter. Um, so if we test that. Yeah, it works. If we go backwards, it works. Forwards, it works. Um, and you're going to want to do this on every form. So form authenticate user, form account main. You're, you're going to want to do it. Start with maybe this one. You can maybe go to this one. Say one, two, three. Well, yeah, I guess. It's up to you how you want it to do uh, the order of them. This one be 13, this one be maybe 14. Doesn't matter how you do them, let's just see what it looks like the login ID account mate. Now when we tab, 
Whoops, that wasn't good. Start there, we start tabbing. That's not what we want. Um, why is that doing that? Oh, that's item height. Uh, 13. Now let's try that. Again. Count me. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That looks good. Um, and basically you would just go through the, uh, I don't have to do it for all of them, but you would go through this one and do the same thing. Um, display JV, you could do the same thing if you want. Main panel, you could do the same thing. And uh, form new order, you could do the same thing. Um, I'm not going to do it for each, for each of them, but you, know, you get the idea now at this point. Um, set passwords as asterisk so uh, form authenticate user um, password character set it as asterisk and you're good to go and then um, we already changed the accept button for auth authenticate user form um, logging in as a uh, owner or manager versus salesperson versus none um, so when we log in here view code something gets set up per view right here see uh, that gets um, set up so based on if you're the owner manager whatever you should get certain privileges based on uh, who, who you are when you log in so uh, let's see here um, let's go and see database be table show table data and let's just say that our salesperson is um, logging in his login ID is here password is password still so we change this right here to here um, now it's going to be a salesperson logging in but if you log in with salesperson real quick, log in, works. Hello, Chazier. Um, he shouldn't be able to display JV. He shouldn't be able to do, uh, I guess display JV is really the only one. Um, let's go ahead and check, uh, fix that then. So on form main panel, if you go to the view code, the load event up here, either yeah yeah you do it afterwards so after it loads a little something there makes the uh, lbl advice text changed uh, if purview equals okay if uh, not purview equals um, owner and doesn't equal manager then, oops, did something wrong. Um, no, oh, that's funny. Then you're going to do something. You're going to uh, say the btn display jv dot enabled equals false. So now, whoops. Yeah, that's fine. No, it isn't. Expression detect. Oh, right. I think that, um, yeah, Visual Basic does it different than C Sharp. And I was thinking it was C Sharp. So Visual Basic does it like that. So now when you log in, Display JV is disabled for this user. But if we logged in as me, it's enabled. I can do it. And that works. Um, let's see here. Uh, so salesperson should only, um, on the order form for a good, he should only be able to do goods and services, not something such as a, uh, 
you know, the telephone or wages and stuff. He shouldn't be able to sell something like that or, or whatever. So, um, also he shouldn't be able to do purchases or um, anything else. So, on this new order form, work and purchase should go disabled if it's a salesperson. So, let's do the same thing. We actually save the code we just made. Just, uh, copy and paste that into this right here. Um, we're going to say rb purchase dot enabled equals false rb work dot enabled equals false and that should work there uh, we can test if you want but uh, that will work um, let's see here um, then on the details form we want it so that when you search something, it will only come up with uh, goods and services. So let's see what we have to do here. Um, I think it's somewhere in here probably. Let's see, text changed event. Uh, that's right. So, uh, hmm. See here. Let's go and copy and paste that code from before. Reuse what we already have. View code. Let's take it all. And then put it right here, maybe. Um, and maybe put a. Uh, I don't know how C sharp works or how Visual Basic works with this. Let's see. Uh, I think that's right, but not 100%. Okay, I guess that's how an else if statement works, okay. Or else uh, end if, I guess. Let's see, um... Go ahead and copy that, paste it, paste it. So, let's see here, if you're... Uh, not the owner, not the manager, then it should only show... Um... We want to only return the things that are uh, goods and services, not uh, anything else. So basically, what would make that unique? Uh, let's go to the goods and services, show table data. What is unique about our Tetris, Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, all, of, all the goods? It has ledger in of 5,000, ledger out of 4,000. So n is 5, out is 4. So if we go over to that code and we say, whoops, not there, here, whoops, right there, do some parentheses and say where ledger n, or yeah, ledger n equals 5,000 and ledger out equals 4,000 and all that other stuff. Um, and that should work. Let's see what happens. I'm not really sure. Let's see. Uh, we're logging in as cashier. New order. Have to be, have to do a sale. Um, doing dealing with Frank Smith. Frank Smith is buying about to buy something. And if we start typing something like telephone, well, telephones in our you know dat table for the GS, but it doesn't come up because it's not a good or service that we can sell. If you're talking, type in D, Donkey Kong is the only thing that comes up. Um, uh, if, you know, if we type, type in uh, you know, Pac-Man, that's the only thing that comes up. But if, since we typed in T, um, you know, what should have come up, it should have come up with telephone as well. But it didn't because it's not a you know, 5,000, 4,000. It's not a good or service that we're trying to sell. And I will continue with the next video from, from right there.